Welcome to Abroad Ability. A lot of you have inquired about what part of Panama I'm moving to. Well, after visiting Bocas del Toro, Boquete, David, Playa Vanel, Panama City, Jerez C, Coronado, Borgona, and Cologne, I have picked the following to live in. Drum roll please, La Ciudad de Panama, AKA Panama City. And this video will cover why. We will discuss high rise apartments, healthcare, weather, some attractions, food, shopping, navigating city streets, and more. Hello, my name is Aisha and I navigate the world with the mobility constraint cerebral palsy. My channel helps people explore Panama to see if they want to move there and also helps you prepare for your new life abroad no matter which country you choose to move to. Bienvenidos a la ciudad de Panama. Welcome to Panama City, my future home. Panama City skyline rivals cities like Hong Kong, Dubai, and Miami. I'm a city girl at heart. I grew up in New York City and feel like Panama City will be an easy transition for me and a soft landing spot for the next phase of my life. The hustle and bustle, the nightlife, the restaurants, and cultural options all played a part in selecting Panama City as my future home. Oh, and another major factor were the choices for housing. I have lived in high-rise apartments ranging from the 11th floor to the 22nd and feel right at home in a skyscraper. Take a look at these views, but more on this later. Panama City is located on the Pacific side of the country and has a population of approximately 1.5 million people in its metropolitan area. A quick Google search states that the temperature ranges between 75 degrees Fahrenheit and 90 degrees Fahrenheit give or take a few degrees. It can be quite humid as well. With the major international airport approximately 20 minutes away, my travel bug will be fed well here. I can fly directly to places like the US, Colombia, Jamaica, and the Bahamas, for example. Panama City offers a plethora of restaurants and bars for those who like dining out or who want to try foods from around the globe. You can find Japanese, Chinese, Mexican, Vietnamese, Caribbean, French, Argentinian, Peruvian, American, and Italian, just to name a few. Oh, and if you're like me and love red snapper, beef patties, ceviche, or empanadas, you'll be happy here. Teehee! Let me know in the comments below what your favorite types of food is or your favorite restaurants in Panama City. There are various grocery store options, fish markets, fruit and veggie markets, malls, and more. Look at this haul my friend was able to get in Panama City for just $21. They have museums like the Afro-Antillian, one for the Panama Canal, one on biodiversity, and more. There are attractions to keep you occupied like visiting Costco Viejo. Costco is the old town that is a popular tourist neighborhood. It is filled with a mix of the old and the new. I can roam these streets for hours looking at the vibrant buildings and architecture and trying various restaurants and bars. I watched and liked the Yarbros video on what to know about Panama City, Panama, and I agree with their outlook on the city and wanted to add my own perspectives on certain neighborhoods, which shows the impact of gentrification and living disparities in the city. With that said, I would be remiss if I did not mention Costco Viejo's bordering neighborhood El Chirillo, which is where a large population of the descendants from the Caribbean who built the canal reside in. There is such a stark difference in the neighborhoods that I have a hard time coming to terms with it, but more on that in a future video, so stay tuned. Walking around Panama City to me is not the easiest if you have mobility constraints. Some of the sidewalks are uneven, have large steps, some may not have ramps, or the ramps can be quite steep, and several streets have tripping hazards. I had to run some errands in the rain during my last visit, and had to choose my walking spots almost a half a block ahead due to the conditions of the sidewalks, water ponding, and their stormwater channels. That said, Panama City does have metro, taxis, and buses. Since I'm not brave enough to drive around there myself, heck, I can barely stomach being a passenger with their style of driving, it was nice to know that they have Uber in Panama City. I can usually get around for the most part for around two to four dollars a ride. Yep. You heard that correctly, I said two to four dollars. There is something about staring out into the water that relaxes me. I might hear normal city sounds, but the water soothes my soul. You can find water views in various neighborhoods in Panama City, like Punta Pacifica and on Avenida Balboa, for example. 
Let me know in the comments if you think you could live in one of these high rises. Each building and location is different and each has its pros and cons, but my gosh, these views. You can find buildings with or without front desk staff, guards, pools, gyms, lounges, etc. There seems to be something for everyone. If you watched my Why Move to Panama video, I discussed Panama's infrastructure. Panama has taken great strides with collecting and treating its wastewater and expanded its Panama City Wastewater Treatment Plant to help protect the environment and to plan for future population growth. While yes, I'm moving to Panama City for various reasons that are mentioned in this video, but I do have to show you things that are not always highlighted. I struggle with the amount of trash I see driving around Panama, as well as which areas I tend to see more trash accumulation in. Before you throw judgment, pay attention or give thought to how often trash is removed, which areas of Panama you rarely see trash accumulation in, which neighborhoods have a population to trash bin deficiency, and how often trash is removed from these neighborhoods. Panama, more specifically Panama City, is known in Latin America for its hospitals and clinics. They even have a John Hopkins affiliated hospital, Punta Pacifica, which has said to have been one of the most technologically advanced medical centers in Latin America. A lot of my friends that live there have shared with me that they receive more one-on-one -on -one care in Panama and then it feels more personalized than the health care that they received in the United States. No country or part of Panama is perfect. You just have to find the right location for you. And at this point in my life, Panama City is right for me. I have a related video on why move to, visit, or retire in Panama that you can watch next. Don't forget to like, comment, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.